Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre and thanks so much for tuning in. Just want to apologize, last two videos, uh, that's my bed in the background, forgot to make it, so you had to look at that for a bit. Uh, so I fixed it, I had to take a break. Good luck, have fun. Thanks, Rotom Appliance. Thank you too. So Rotom Appliance is a, a Netrunner player. I played their deck a bit earlier on the channel called Rotom Coats, and it was pretty good. And we're in the competitive lobby playing Max 102. And Max 102 is 102 Anarch cards stuffed inside one big old deck. Uh, the reason is that you just play all the good Anarch cards, and then with the free max draw, you're basically drawing and trashing all your good stuff. And, oh, 97 cards, missed that detail. <laughs> um, and a lot of the new breakers in Max are fine whether you draw them or trash them regardless, so... This could be okay. We're playing against in the competitive lobby against controlling the message, so ideally opening with, um... A scrubber is kind of what we want, but we just have enough money in this hand that I'd be, uh, I'd be likely to keep it. So let's see how things go here. Uh, Rotom's a good player for sure, so... And they also noticed that we have all these cards in our deck before the game started. I'm super lucky that they didn't spam assets, because now we have time to get up our money, and that's really good. Alright, so in the heap, we have a medium, which is unfortunate, and we have an Earthrise Hotel, which is also a bit unfortunate early enough. We need these to set up. Uh, but we also have enough money, so I think this turn we just want to set up with Liberated and Daily Casts, just so when it comes down to trashing the remotes, we can do it. So let's try this out. We have to click for a credit first, put this down, take four off it, put Daily Cast down, and now next turn we'll start with three credits and the ability to click for four, which is not too bad at all. Jackson's on the table, and we do have Rumor Mill, so we might actually get them here. I think we're still going to ask whether you want to do something. And a lot of times people don't want to do something in a deck that runs 102 cards, because the chance of you drawing your Rumor Mill while it actually matters is a really big deal. Or it's like unlikely, and the fact that we drew a Scrubber is also kind of absurd. That's really good. Anything you want to do? So we want to respect hard-hitting news, but we also want to trash this card if it is like a Sensei's Actors Union. So, they don't want to do anything. Thanks. So, what's our turn? We want to put down Scrubber. If we run this, they'll trace us. And we don't have Link, so then we have to also get rid of a tag. Which we can't do. So, we actually have to met might let this one slide. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't install the daily cast last turn. Because if we put this down, we're down to one. We trash this. We probably trash it for free. And then we have to do this and take a tag. The chance that they have hard-hitting news is kind of unlikely. I don't know how many CTMs run, but they also took a mulligan, so maybe their hand is worse than we would expect. Uh, no matter what, I think we're in a good spot, so we might just credit up and let this go. If it is a Sensi's, it's a bummer, but we can contest the next turn. So let's just liberate it, liberate it, and play Rumor Mill to slow them down. So now the text on Jackson Howard is dead. In theory, they could play a current, but controlling the message actually doesn't have that many really good currents. Uh, NBN, like, they're okay. Some, I think, other factions, the neutral ones are really good. And that's a bad campaign, which is kind of best case scenario. So we do want to contest all this stuff. I think we can put down Scrubber and start trashing this. Uh, this deck so far has only played one Econ card, or now two. I guess that's a commentator's curse. So maybe if we just trash everything, we'll be okay. Drew a Faust. Uh, we lost an Armitage, which is a shame, but we're actually in a good spot. So we can put down Scrubber and trash this. We can also face check HQ. Like, what's the worst? If that's an Archangel, we just get daily casts back. Scrubber trashes this for two, so we're going to pay four for it regardless, and I think we want to do that before the money really comes in. Right? All this card drawing, like, we basically have ideal... Like, this doesn't look that much different than a wizard, besides we're not wizard. Uh, so it's... We could pay four here to save a click, but I don't think we're going to do that. We're just going to remove a tag. And we could run last click, but it's kind of a bad idea, because if this is a tagging piece of ice, they're going to ruin this stuff, and this stuff is really good for us. I want to check what this is next turn, ideally, and then um, want on it, because they can't recover with Jackson Howard. And day job is super good, too. You need to find a window to play this. Uh, just because if they spam assets, you want to basically react to that. But if they don't put any assets out, we're good. That actually might be something we have to worry about. And we lost our other scrubber, which I would actually consider deja vuing in at this point. We also do have a way to deal with uh, barriers and the other ones, uh, sentries. 
So do we check this? I think we do. It could be a uh, Mumbed Virtual Tour, which is going to be annoying. But they might also want to rush out an agenda just so that we they get rid of the rumor mill. We're also running three of employee strike, which is definitely the better current in this matchup. But we'll take what we can get in this deck, and that's kind of what you have to do. You have to play to what you have. If we don't run this, they could, in theory, pay six to res a sand send and then score out something like a breaking news or even an astro. So whether or not we want a day job here is interesting. Uh, we could also just put fast down and run this remote. If we put down Faust, we're at 9 credits. If we hit this and it is a Mumbed Virtual Tour, that costs us 5 minus 2. So it puts that to 6 credits, which means we can be hard-hitting news. I'd rather actually check HQ. I think I would definitely rather check HQ. Just so we know whether the Wantons get next turn, and if they do something like score, we can react to it. There's also a high likelihood they have an Agendas in here, considering it's they're 36 cards down, nothing's been scored. And this might just be a diversion play, and we want the agendas. It's resistor, so we can install paperclip, but I think we're not going to. If we parasite it, it's we will get the the trace, which is unfortunate. So I think we're just going to parasite it anyways. Remove the tag, and then click for credits. Waiting for the corp to resolve runner install triggers. Interesting. So in theory, we could run here, get an access. That seems good. And then remove the tag. We've already ran, so hard didn't use is fine. And whether we're at eight, that's okay too, as opposed to, to nine. So let's run HQ. There's a high likelihood we'll get an agenda here. The fact that we're running with a tag is probably unoptimal. We probably want to clear this before accessing just because of things like quantum predictive model. And that's an explosive palooza, which is not good if they are running mid seasons. So now there is actually a substantial credit differential. Oops. Oopsies. That's bad. We'll see how bad this is. They're drawing a card. If they're playing hard hitting news, it's the last click anyways, so they might actually just throw the book at us. And there's the mid seasons. Okay, that's fine. We can react with wanton destruction and get any punishing cards out of their hand. We're actually gonna wipe their entire hand too, which is good. And we also have day job to basically recover if they close their accounts. So this is gonna be an exciting game. That's what we're in for today. So they made that 12. So if we put eight credits in, we'll have four tags. Four tags is actually better than having no tags. Uh, I think we're going to go for no tags because I think we can actually manage to clear it with day job. So let's boost it. We're going to get one credit, two credits at the beginning of turn, so we can actually still want him. And they can't recover with Jackson Howard. So this might be exactly what we need if they have closed accounts in their hand. Perfect. Perfect. So if they don't have closed accounts, what we want to do is we want to take a credit, run archives. If they're running quantum predictive model, which they could be considering mid-seasons. What's that card? We still get free card draw. Oh, two of these. That's really, really good. If we drew the dirty laundry, it'd also probably be very good as well. So we can take a credit, run archives, run HQ, take another, probably run HQ twice. They're now going to have really big ice that we have to deal with, things like Thoth and maybe even information overload. So we have to be mindful of that. think we want to run Archives. Probably should have taken a credit last. We got a sales team. This is okay. And we also trashed another Jackson. And no tag punishment, which is less than ideal. I think we can run HQ twice. Because next turn we're going to day job. And then the turn after that, if they don't close their accounts, uh, we'll clear the tags. Scorched Earth. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> Scorched Earth again. Might be the same one. We'll see. We have no I've had worse in our hand and we haven't drawn any. So they might actually think we have them in hand. If they have two Scorched, we lose. Triple Advance. Probably a Beal. That's a Beal. And now Jackson is... not. Oh, we drew an I've had worse. This is ideal. So I think we're just day job. It's unlikely that they have a closed account. So next turn we can remove the tags and we're ba basically up two agendas and back to turn one or page one. This is going to be interesting. So I think technically I think you want to be on three tags. 
because they have four tags, they can still fast advance a 5-3 agenda, like a global food. Also, there's an argument for maybe not wanting to steal agendas while you are tagged, because exchange of information could swing uh, a 5-3 back over to their side, and that's kind of lousy. A new card in that server. Is this the turn that we just clear tags? I think it is. Oh, they put a card in there. I think we're just going to clear tags and play slow. We can play around Scorched actually pretty elegantly. There's no ice here. We don't have a medium. Hmm. What do we do? I think we want to trash the Jackson for sure. I think they'll probably pop it considering what's in here. Uh, but if they draw their boom, we're dead. So I think we're just going to clear tags. Uh, Mimic is less than good in this matchup. We still have enough money to day job up. Sensies, okay. Well, that's our next turn target. I think we're still going to day job and let that thing go. It's kind of a bummer. The good thing, though, is that we can't be boomed anymore. And if they're going to have to tag us, they're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is probably score breaking news behind a server. Uh, we could just put Faust down and run for it. We haven't seen a hard-hitting news, so that might be an issue. So if we put down Faust, we can run through this. Um, I'm pretty sure that is, uh, what's it called? Mombad Virtual Tour. Let's try this. I think we have to be as aggressive as possible, just because the game's probably not going to last that much longer. We also have another click left to get rid of Sensies. And we're still not weak to Scorched. We need two tags for this to be a problem. That could be an IP block. Install Black Orchestra? No. Do we just break one or we break two? I think we only break one. Because I'd rather have cards in hands. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. So boost. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's our entire hand to get through that, which is really bad if they can tag us. Because then we'll die to Scorch. But I th think we're going to go for it. Can this all paperclip? So let's just throw out. So boost, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and break. <laughs> See how bad this is for us. If that's a price sec, we lose. Corporate sales team is good. Virtual tour can't afford. Holding on. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If they draw a sea source into Scorch, we lose. Uh, if they play mid-seasons in Discord, we lose, but I don't think they have the money for that. We're also playing aggressively around Sweeps Week. <laughs> they play Sweeps like nothing happens. Oh, uh, okay. Um, like, if they don't hit us with tags, like, this turn, all we do is click for credits and draw cards. But, uh, it seems bad. It seems like a problem. We could also just take pot shots at HQ. The th chance of being an agenda in there is kind of low considering they have Sensi. The chance of there being an agenda in here is kind of higher. So I think we just draw four times. Let's draw once, see what it is. Okay, that's okay. That can in theory pull out the... Imp no, I don't know what we can do with that. They only have four credits though. So let's draw. That's good. Helps with this. Let's draw again. Caddy's good, but definitely too slow. And we're just going to draw again. So, Well, drawing again doesn't matter. Because if they double scorch us, they double scorch us. Unless we draw an I've had worse, which is rather unlikely. Considering we have two in the bin, and there's only one left in 63 cards. Um, We could take a pot shot on HQ. The fact that they didn't hard hitting news this last turn means they probably won't this turn. And so let's give that a shot. There's probably not agendas in here. Maybe I wanted to run R&D instead. Scorch Earth, no surprises. Okay. Pad campaigns online. That's fine. They technically, oh, and they also didn't use their Sensi, so they're probably scoring this turn in server three. Uh, advance, advance, could be breaking news. Oh, but triple advance, if that's an Astro, that's bad. And it's probably an Astro. That makes sense, considering how many cards they uh been drawing with Sensi. But now at zero credits, we can actually afford to like contest stuff. So I think first we run R&D to see the top of R&D. Then we run Jackson, hopefully they shuffle. And then we run R&D again, and maybe we win. 
Because we have to be very aggressive just because breaking news, now they can fast advance with Astro. This is going to be a fun game. Let's run R&D. Zero credits, they can only res one or two cards, both of them that we can break. Turnpike, it's fine. I think we take a credit, run Jackson. If they let us trash, it will have a tag though. So maybe we just run HQ. We want to get rid of the Sensi, that's for sure. So we click, click. No, we don't have time for that. It's unlikely they have an agenda in HQ considering how they've been filtering with Sensi. So I think running R&D might have been a goof and we might have wanted to get rid of the Sensi's just to buy it like a longer game. Uh, okay. Clicking for three credits sounds okay. The fact that we got all this free card draw is like such a big deal that we didn't have to spend all these clicks drawing and we've gone through so much. Running archives, unlikely that for that to be an agenda too. We know a Scorched Earth in here. They're going to draw a Turnpike, which is annoying. I think we just click for three credits. Even if we take a tra tag and trash this, the like it's going to be very difficult for them to get enough money to double Scorch us. So that actually might be an argument just to float a tag and do this. I think I'm okay with that because I don't want this to fire. Like We'll float the tag. They need eight credits to double Scorch or six credits and that's kind of unlikely. And what else can they punish us? Closed accounts? Not really. Exchange of information does nothing. If they trash our scrapper, go for it. Okay, let's see. We gotta play as aggressive as we can. This is maxed, so we gotta play this correctly. Things are not looking too bad, right? Like, we just need to get one good access, and with Sensi, HQ might actually flood up. We also wanna trash Jackson just so they shuffle R&D. Uh, just so agendas, if they put them on the bottom of R&D, will start coming up. And that's gonna be really important for us. This server is something we can contest as long as we have three credits. Right? Trash is a card from the root R&D. They put a better piece of ice here. That's likely the turnpike that they drew. And I think what we did there was the right call. Uh, in terms of trashing Sensi. So can they punish us for two tags? Maybe they can with Boom. So I don't know if that's something we want to do. Uh, I do want to get rid of the bad campaign at some point. But I think they might think we're going to float tags. So we maybe want to just run Jackson. If we run Jackson, we'll be down to one credit. There'll be a forward next turn. So they could do, if they play sweep sweep, they can scorch scorch us. But I, they might have sweep sweep last turn, right? They'd have to top deck it. What's the chance that they just use Jackson if we run on it? Uh, do we have an employee strike we could play? No, we haven't seen one yet. Hmm. That's fine. Because if we get one in the bin, we can same old thing it. So, Jackson Howard. Oh, let's ask anything they want to do. Maybe they respect. Maybe we just play slow this turn. Maybe the game is slowed enough down that we can play caddy. I just don't want to play caddy because it basically ensures that we can't. Uh... It ensures that we can't float tags at the end of it any turn, just like the one that we did right here. So again, if we trash this, it's one credit left. So if we click, click with three and we can remove one tag. But yeah, there's a chance that they, they double scorch us and we don't have iPad worse. I think we just let this go. I think we have to play aggressively. Uh, I'm not sure. We also want to use this as much as possible. I think they'll probably pop it. And if they don't, we don't trash it, right? I hope they use it. Otherwise, we we're just wasting a click. And we can get hard hitting news now, I guess. They're thinking about it. Oh, they're letting us have it. Okay, so if we trash it, we're down to one credit. What's the chance they have two scorched? And it sweeps. It has to be sweeps, right? Because hedge fund won't do it. And they've already played two sweeps, so it's unlikely. Let's take it. It's, it's a bit of a high risk play, but. And we're going to clear one tag for sure, just so they can't boom us. Because boom is probably the worst thing here. Credit, credit, remove tag. Okay, bring in the hard hitting news. 
We might actually just need to flow tags because uh, we don't have a good way to deal with data pike. I think I threw out my mimic, and regardless, two credits to break might be too much. They have only 18 cards left in R&D. So we could also punish them by uh, deja vuing for a wanton and then wantoning the next like couple turns. And I think we want to do that regardless, just because. Uh, fuck, we could have drawn it. Max, hold on, one on cards. Max, what? Um. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, because if we did if. Even if we same old thing for Wanton, we only trash two cards, so we want a Deja Vu for a Wanton, just to get the score charts out of hand. Is that actually shuffleable? Eh, it's not too bad. You think a bit harder before you mulligan. Fast feel for days. Alright, so what do we want to do? If we credit, credit, remove tag, we can't deja vu for wanton destruction. Now they can. We have to get rid of the tag because they could, in theory, double scorch us. So gain credit. We're going to remove the tag for sure. And then probably just gain two credits. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, out of all these cards, we don't probably need a second Faust. All right. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a big chance that there's actually like one or two agendas on the bottom of R&D. So let's just assume there's four points out of the game. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What the shit is that? What the shit is that? I'd actually want them to score something just so that we can. Deja vu into wanton destruction. We can also start running HQ because they drew twice and we don't know what they drew. If it's an agenda, it's likely in there. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was like price sec, price sec, and agenda. If that is a 5 3, they can't score it. So we can probably just buy some time. And if they spend too much money on that, we put down medium and go RD and just float tags. So the good thing about Deja Vuing for Wanton here is that we have enough money both to play uh, RD, uh, both to play medium next turn or to Wanton. And I gotta scroll down a whole bunch. So that seems good. Uh, I still don't think we're ever gonna use a sentry. Oh, this is gonna be a close game. This is exciting. This is a roller coaster that I like when tags are. Where floating tags sometimes is not the worst, and sometimes it's actually a good thing. Okay. So they might slow down and respect the wanton destruction just because we're going to get three cards out of their hand. If we get rid of their Scorches, that's probably removing an entire entire uh, strategy. Okay, so we have to win this turn. Wantoning is probably enough. We might just put down medium and go nuts on R&D. Or the other option is that we wanton and then remove three cards. So if we put down medium, we're probably going to see three cards. It's a safe play or the aggressive play? I think Wanton's probably okay. Because they could just have to draw that 1-2 agenda. or they, like there's, We've got most of their 4-2s. So they just have to draw another Beal or any of their foods. I mean, not foods. Any of their um, breaking newses. Or even like 15 minutes. So we can lock them on top of their R&D, or what's the chance they have them in HQ? In HQ, we know they have one Scorched at least. So I think either are fine. The thing is, if we put down Medium, it actually might cause them to sp spend money so that they can't score out, and that kind of makes this better. Let's see how this goes. We have enough Faust Fuel. They're going to get one credit. Oh, that's a wraparound. That's a fucking bummer. In for a penny, in for a pound. Okay, so how many cards do we have to discard to this f fucking thing? Oh, okay, so now the only problem here, right, is that if we don't bounce here, and we actually give this thing the, like, how many cards does it demand? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the four cards it demands, and we run through this, which they can res, we'll get a tag. But then they have no credits, so they can't actually scorch us. This might be okay, right? Am I missing something here? Because if they res the next thing, data pike, they'll have one credit on the beginning of their next turn. 
So they have to play Sea Source into Scorched. I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, Sweeps Week. So let's see if they res the Data Pike. Oh, it's a pop-up. Oh, we have to throw out our last card. Fuck. Fuck. I was so sure that was something else. So do we throw out our Wanton just to get a single access? Guess so. Bummer. Bummer. Get lucky. Sweep, sweep. Fuck. So now we just run HQ twice. There's nothing else to do. We know they're not going to top deck the win. Scorch Earth. No surprises. If they can give us a tag, we lose anyways. So if they have a sea source, we lose. Scorched Earth. Okay. I was so sure that was the data pike. Did we miss it? Was there something in there? Oh, they drew a sweep sweep. <laughs> so they drew a sweep sweep. It's totally useless. We have no cards in hand. So unless we get the five credits to be able to deal with wraparound, it's going to suck for a bit. They drew a card, so now they have the gain credits. So do we just hammer R&D over and over again? We probably should have drawn before we ran this server. Because if we kept our wanton, oh, they hard-hitting news us. So we basically lose this turn. Okay. All right, so what have we learned? Uh, we have to basically get rid of all these three tags. And that's not going to happen. Or we can draw up to four cards. Because then they have to double scorch us. They have a sweepstick, right? So if we have four cards, they, they're three, four, five, six, seven. So we're, we're, we're dead no matter what. Because we have sweepstick, and the only way to get around this is to draw cards. So how many cards do we need to break this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is five cards for the server. So even if we draw four cards, we're short one click. Oh, this is going to be close. So, assuming we don't draw an I've had worse, that'll only actually, if we drew an I've had worse, we'll be able to get through it, but. One, two is already in here. So, it's unlikely. So, we can't count on that. It's five to get through here. Our cheapest fractor is four credits. I think we should have wanted last turn and not gone R&D. Because I would have probably got rid of the hard-hitting news. I probably would have got rid of uh, Scorched Earths, and we would have had a longer game. So maybe we misplayed that a bit. But um, let's see. So we draw four cards. They have to double Scorch us. Now they sweeps. They'll have a three, and they sweeps to get another three. So that's six, which is just enough to double Scorched Earth, right? Scorched Earth, yes. Yeah, obviously three credits. So we will die to that. So our best is just to get like run on archives, run on HQ, run on HQ, run on HQ. That's our out. That's our only out here. So let's try archives first. Nothing. There's the turnpike. Okay. Now we just run HQ a couple times and then we lose. <laughs> All right. Let's do it up. We're probably gonna see a scorched earth pop up window. That's fine. So we know pop up window one or two scorched and a sweet sweet. So it's not looking so hot anymore. Scorched earth. Last click. Ah oh, boy, that was so close. Sweep sweep. Good game. So that's gonna get the scorched out. I was so sure that pop up was a data pike and that I could have kept the wanton. I probably should have just ended the run. Sorry, I mean turnpike. So the last click was, was pretty incredible. There's nothing in H. What's on top? What's on top of R and D? Like it was pretty bad considering they had probably four points at the the, the bottom. I just drew turn back. All right, all right. So no win there. Bummer. 
That was a super exciting game. We got really, really, really close. And I think if we played that a bit better, we could have bought ourselves uh, a couple more turns. Could you res all? That was one click off of getting into R&D. So I'm pretty sure these things are uh, price, price X. If this is a Scorch deck. All right, let's see what they got. Yeah, we called that right. So, Mumbed Virtue to a Price Act, Price Act, dirty. Still wasn't safe, right? Like, we could have had enough cards just to get through that. It would cost us six cards, and then we'd access, hopefully, the agenda first. So, as long as we, like, put enough pressure that they couldn't fast advance, we could have done it. Well, thanks so much for watching. This is Max102, which is a surprisingly, ex like, it's a super exciting deck to play, and it does have results. This game was really close. Uh... The last game that I put up, we could have won if we played better. I feel really bad about that. I'm going to blame it on the bed being not made because that threw me out. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Ciao.